In the middle of a natural disaster is not the time to prepare the things you'll need. You should always have a go kit on hand and ready. Uh, part of it is depending on what time of the year it is. If it's summertime and it's very hot out and you break down on the side of the road, of course you're going to need those things like water, your medications, what have you, maybe small food that's non-perishable, uh, flashlights in case you break down at night so that people can see you and you're struck. You can look for a uh, reflective vest and those type of things. Wintertime, again, you have to be cautious of the freezing temperatures. You don't want to put water or what have you because it would freeze up and bust on you. But again, maybe have a blanket or something like that, your hand warmers so you can get uh, um, at, at the various sporting stores uh, those kind of products where you, it, it doesn't perish until you open it and keep your hands warm or what have you. So again, it really depends on what you're doing, but you're looking for um, flashlights, uh, battery operated radios. Uh, you should have at least a gallon of water per day per adult. Uh, you should have uh, medications specialty items for the elderly that they have you know with chronic disease or what have you if you're bringing a baby you certainly want to have toiletries for the baby as well F plenty of formula so that the baby doesn't go without um, it really again you can go on our website and see that the various uh, lists or go on FEMA's website for the Google list for more information you can visit qacdes.org for QAC TV I'm Mallory Drummond